I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on polar coordinate system. Here we will see how to plot these polar coordinates on a polar grid when the angles are given in degrees. So we have divided this into uh, degrees by 30. So this is 30 degrees, that is 60 degrees, this is 90 degrees, 120 degrees, 150 degrees, 180 degrees and so on, right? So keep on adding 30 degrees to get your angles. Perfect. So 300 degrees, 330 degrees and 360 degrees. So that is how we have shown our polar grid at present. Now we'll plot these points one by one. A is 360. It means what? It really means that R is 3 and the angle is 60 degrees. So the angle of 60 degrees is right there and here these are in the units, right? So each is one unit long. So it's 1, 2, 3. So that point here represents A for us. So I'm just joining it with the pole. The length is 3 units and the angle is 60 degrees as you can see. So we get point A as shown here on the diagram. Now let's look into point B, right? So we got A in orange color. Let's color them. Okay. Now B is 2 minus 420, right? So, so B is 2 minus 420. Now minus 420 means you go one full circle, but this time in clockwise direction. So 360, right? So this is the same as 360 and then 60 more, right? So 360 and then 60 will give you to 420, right? So that means minus 360 and minus 60 degrees, correct? So one full circle and minus 60 degrees means you come here and it is 2. So that becomes your point 2, right? So that becomes your point B. Is that okay? So you go around one full circle and get to this point. Now let's see how to plot C, which is having negative number, right? So negative 3 with 30 degrees. 30 degrees is right there, but when it is negative 3, you point at the opposite direction. So you don't go this side, but you go 1, 2, 3 units on the other side, and that becomes your point C. Is that clear to you? Right. And now in the next example, we have both argument and the modulus negative, right? So R is negative. I shouldn't say modulus, but R value is negative. Minus 3, minus 330. So when I say minus 330, we have to go in this direction. Do you understand? So, so minus 273, 330 will be here. And, and the value is minus 3. So we'll not go in this direction. 3 units will go in this 1, 2, 3. So that point here will be D also. So D and C are actually the same points. Now, I like you to pause the video and plot these, right? And then check with my solution. That'd be better. So you've understood the concept. We are now going for 4, 270, right? So 270 is right there and 4 units. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's the point, right? So which is point E for us. Now point F is minus 4 with 45 degrees. So we have taken this as 30 degrees, this as 60 degrees, 40 degrees is somewhere in between, correct? So that is 45 degrees. So minus 4 means we will go into the opposite direction, so we'll go in this direction, right? 1, 2, 3 and 1, 4 units, so that will be the point F for us. So now I hope it is absolutely simple, right? G is both negative minus 3 and minus 135 so when you go minus 135 so we are going by this side so it is 45 90 minus right and minus 135 is right there right so this becomes if you go here in this direction so it is minus 135 now we have to go minus 3 so we'll not point at this direction, but we'll point on the other side. So that becomes your minus 3 or point G will be right there. Is that clear to you? Perfect. So the last point here is A. Uh, well, again, we are writing A here. I'll plot it on this side. 
So point A in this case is minus 3, 225 degrees negative. So 225 degrees is, uh, is what? So we get 180, right? And then 45, which is 225. So which is here. So minus 225 will be right there. But 3 is also negative. So we'll not point at this direction, but we'll be looking at the opposite direction, 3 units. 1, 2, 3. So that becomes the point. Do you understand the concept, right? So this is point A which is this A for us. So that is how we are going to plot the on the polar grid when we are given polar coordinates in degrees. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.